Odondo, the talking drum. Used by local tribes in Ghana, it serves as a communicating device for passing messages to far-off places. The term talking drum comes from its original design, which when used properly, produces pitch variations that mimic those in speech, known by the local tribes in Ghana as the talk. Tribal leaders rely on those messages to be informed of threats to their tribes before those threats are able to inflict serious harm. Odondo, the software-enabled governance solution, serves as a talking drum for corporate America. It is an electronic system that allows workers at all levels to send messages to directors and senior executives on threats or prescribed behavior within the organization. The location? MNC Bank Credit Card Division. The date, 17th of August, 2008. The time, 9.30 p.m., or well after normal working hours. The senior process manager looks around the office and realizes that she is all alone. She proceeds to access personal data of clients, a serious security threat and forwards this security information to a third person to conduct fraudulent transactions. A process associate, working late, notices the activities of the process manager. She is confused on what to do. If only there was a way for the process associate to confidentially connect with the right people. With Odondo, there is a way. Employees at all levels can electronically file a report in a confidential manner. Upon arrival at the home page, the employee clicks the File a Report icon to begin the process of reporting prescribed behavior. Having clicked the File a Report icon, Odondo transfers the employee to the Terms and Conditions page. The Terms and Conditions page is important for five reasons. The first is to inform the employee filing a report that he or she can elect to remain anonymous. Second, the employee needs to know that Odondo's purpose is to promote good governance. Third, Odondo is not meant to replace an emergency hotline. Fourth, Odondo's objective is to promote process improvement in the organization. Fifth, the employee needs to know that his or her report will be retained within the guidelines of the organization's document retention program. The employee reads the terms and conditions of use, clicks on the Agree icon, and is then transferred to Odondo's Select an Organization page. Of course, if the employee does not agree to those terms and conditions, he or she cannot proceed with filing a report. The Select an Organization page is custom for every Odondo client. Upon arrival at the Select an Organization page, the employee will find that the organization has been pre-selected he or she will have to select the corresponding location where the event occurred. Once the employee selects the proper location, he or she clicks Next and is then transferred to the Detail Your Report portion of the reporting process. A report in Odondo consists of primarily one short structured questionnaire that provides the vital details of the case slash issue being reported. One of the most important features Odondo offers is the option for the employee reporting issues to remain anonymous. And the employee provides this input first. Next, the employee selects the type of event that occurred. Again, the selections available are custom for every client. The employee then proceeds to answer several free response questions aimed at securing the details of the matter the employee wants to report. The employee must report how they came to know about the matter being reported selecting all that apply and if they know the people involved. If the employee selects the option yes to knowing the people involved, he or she is prompted with a text box to provide their names. After providing the names of the people involved, the employee is asked about his or her reporting relationship with any of the individuals he or she has included in the report. This piece of information is critical in maintaining the employee's anonymity and confidentiality of employee communications when investigations are performed. The employee also has an opportunity to describe why he or she feels the issue needed to be reported to top management levels. 
One outstanding feature Odondo provides is the option for the employee to upload various electronic forms of evidence to support his or her report, strengthening the validity of subsequent investigations. The different forms of evidence are virtually limitless. From simple photos and documents to complex spreadsheets and scanned images, the employee has the opportunity to submit whatever evidence they have, provided he or she can put them into an electronic format. At the bottom of the Detail Your Report page is a CAPTCHA, important in preventing bots from spamming Odondo. When the employee feels comfortable with the data entered into the Detail Your Report page, he or she clicks on Submit and is transferred to the Submit Information page. Submitted reports in Odondo are assigned a unique system-generated report ID. The employee chooses a password that allows him or her to follow up on the case. It is advisable for the employee to keep the report ID and password private and confidential. The employee has the option to provide an email ID so that lost passwords can be reset. This email ID is never used or stored in any direct association with the report ID. The employee then clicks on Finish and is transferred to the Thank You page. The employee receives a thank you and is informed that the company should respond to the employee within three working days. Odondo reminds the employee that he or she can follow up their report by using their report ID and password. The employee clicks on Finish and returns to the home page. Odondo, providing employees a confidential way to allow their leaders to hear the talk from its employees.